Minecraft Realms just went down for close to a week, and we finally know the reason as to why, and it's surprisingly actually a good thing. Also, the compensation is coming in from Mojang, I just got some of mine, and if you're curious what it is, well, hello, I'm Abyx Toy Cat, and welcome back to another Minecraft news video. Today, we'll be talking about the realm situation, exactly what caused it, and the improvements that are coming out of it, and then also I'll be explaining why I still use a realm for my single player world, because I know a fair few of you are in the situation, but also there's been a lot of reactions to this realm outage. Of saying why do people even care, but clearly over 600,000 people care because the Mojang status account tweeted that realm service should now be restored for all players. We apologize for disruption in realm service and appreciate your patience while we worked on solution, but ultimately this was kind of just a tweet saying yep there was a problem and now we fixed it, and that was all we assumed we were going to get from Mojang. There was actually sneakily seven days added to most people's realms. I can only confirm this for myself, this is my realm that I started, uh, it was actually something like 19 days ago, uh, you can actually t see the exact time I started. It. And because I happen to know the time I started it and the fact that it was 30 days, I could tell that I got an additional 7 days for that realm, which was a pretty big win because I wasn't honestly using it for the week of the disruption. And so I got myself a week of this realm, and presumably loads of other people did too. But we just kind of assumed that Mojang secretly gave everyone a week, and that was all that was going to happen until today, where they say realms is back online and better than ever with an increased render distance for bedrock from 20 to 25. Now you can see further than far and wider than wide on supported devices. Happy sightseeing, and this is obviously huge. The fact that Minecraft Realms is always loading on a Mojang or Microsoft server uh, at some point means that this has a real cost to them, and this is actually a really cool upgrade, and presumably based on the fact that they've now added this, and the fact that there was an update which came in and broke Minecraft Realms, either this was the cause of the outage, either they tried to increase the render distance and it caused the issues, or this is kind of like an apology gift. This is because there is a real cost associated with increasing your render distance. This is why it remained at 10 chunks for years, and increasing it to 20 chunks was already quite big, but increasing it to 25 is even bigger. And in case you think, well, that's only a 25% increase, actually, if you do the maths, a 20 by 20 chunk area is showing you 400 chunks of your Minecraft world, but 25 by 25 chunks is actually 625, which is a 56.25% increase, uh, not just in the amount that you're seeing, but the, the amount that the servers actually have to load in for you, which is actually therefore quite a significant thing. And then what they also say is thank you for your patience during the realms outage. If you were affected, please keep an eye on your inbox in game. We're sending something your way. We appreciate your understanding and we're grateful that you are part of our community. So I was someone who was definitely leading the charge that Mojang had to compensate people for the fact that they are paying for a service that they are just not getting. And this is something which I am glad that they have taken on board. A lot of people still are asking in the comments like, I still expect reimbursement, but ultimately I think it's not very realistic to ask for 75 cents back from Mojang or anything like that. I think the most realistic solution was getting a free week, as many people have gotten, and so anytime you got to play Realms in that past week, which if I'm being honest was, uh, for my Let's Play world, it was something like 50 to 60% uptime. So uh, I was still getting to play my world a lot of the time, not all of the time, and as a result the free week is just a nice little bonus on top. What I really wanted is not to have Realms issues, but a second best is getting that week back, and even better is the fact that clearly they have something else planned, and that is something we're going to see in our inbox. If you're curious, I believe the inbox looks like this. It says news on the left when you hit the little bell, but it says inbox at the very top there, and all my inbox says right now, despite someone who has two realms affected, is that there have been some betas and previews that came out, although not all of the betas and previews. There was one that came out this week it hasn't told me about, but I haven't had a news since uh, the 15th of August, and so I would love to know when this is going to hit the inbox. All they said is it's going to be coming soon. Indeed, the Mojang status account also tweeted that we should keep an eye on our inbox in-game. We're sending something your way. And so what exactly is this going to be? Here's the fun game. We don't actually know. I mean, on the crazy extreme end, this could be something like a, a you know, a free round 30-day code, or this could be a cape or something nuts like that. Uh, but I think realistically, this is going to be an acknowledgement that they gave us an extra seven days. A lot of people have reported seeing the same compensation, and it probably will be something weird like a character creator icon or something along those lines.
I don't know what it's going to be, but I like the idea that Mojang aren't just making right what they ruined and, you know, undoing uh, the bad thing, but they're actually taking a step beyond this with some serious realm improvements. And just in case you're curious as to what those look like, I decided to go into my realm and show you. So here's what it looks like with 20 ch chunks, in case you're curious. It's uh, fairly nice. You can see a decent distance. It is about the rendered distance of a Minecraft Xbox One edition, if that helps you out. Although, obviously, console edition rendered in a different uh, shape to Minecraft Bedrock but it's about the same render distance, so that's kind of nice, but 25 chunks is a decent upgrade. Weirdly, even though it's about 50% more area being covered, it only feels like a slight distance more in any given direction, and so when you compare these two together, it actually doesn't seem like that vast of a difference, in my opinion at least. Maybe you disagree there, and so that is incredibly interesting. I am glad that they have improved this, but weirdly, I would say, at a certain point of render distance, the bigger improvement would probably come if, as a collective, we could get uh, improvements to simulation distance. Right now, simulation distance on Realm is, is capped at four chunks. Um, we'd look, I had an issue with uh, one of the marketplace teams I was working with. Uh, they didn't know that the simulation distance was capped at four chunks, and it breaks a few add-ons, it breaks a few uh, things like this, and Minecraft runs a bit weird with such a low uh, simulation distance, and ultimately, I play Minecraft with low simulation distance, for lag reasons, on my own PC, just because weird things happen. I would love if a server could deal with high simulation distance because then I could play with it on higher and not really worry about the downsides. Also one of the downsides by the way is the fact that far too many mobs spawn when simulation distance is kept low. So just the, my little concern right there. My other little concern if I'm making complaints anyway, uh, this is one I actually spotted from Agent Mindstorm who if you don't know uh, is behind Console Aspects which is a key part of the Timeless Adventures which released this week. Um, but a recent bug is that Minecraft has another one pixel error on the hotbar and this is going to break you. So skip ahead 20 seconds if you don't want to see this, uh, but did you know Mojang actually made another mistake? The new air bubbles are off by exactly one pixel, and the moment you see it, you can't unsee it. Why? Why are you like this, Mojang? And it's kind of funny, right, that the exact same issue has happened in another place. It's a single pixel, so it's such a tiny UI thing. How does this even happen? I would love to know for anyone who designs GUIs if one pixel errors like this are common, but I think that's fascinating. But there's one last thing for me to explain in this video beyond speculating what we might get and that is obviously to answer the question, why do I use a realm to begin with? I obviously use realms to host multiplayer events that maybe you're familiar with. Um, I also actually did one recently, if you're if, if you're not familiar. I did it as a live stream, it was kind of like a Big Brother style thing, and I just want to say not enough people appreciated this thumbnail, which was a Minecraft version of, an, of the Avengers uh, original uh, movie poster. I thought that was fun. It took uh, a little bit of effort from, the, from uh, you know, the editors to make this thumbnail thing, and I just want you all to appreciate that right now, but I also want to explain to you why I use realms in my single player world, uh, because it seems like a dumb thing, especially when the service has been down intermittently for a week. I've been unable to access my Let's Play world as much, and so I haven't played as much survival Minecraft, if I'm being honest, this last week, which kind of sucks, but the reason I keep my world on a realm is kind of twofold. One of those is the fact that it's consistently being backed up. If you have your world on a local hard drive, and that local hard drive has a fault, that's a problem. If there is a house fire, let's say, I hear lots of people, uh, lots of those happen to be people who aren't subscribed to the IBX Toy Cat channel, and fun fact, you can't subscribe to your own channel, but if you have a major data loss event, you're going to lose not just where your world is, but also your backups, unless your backups are in the cloud. I keep local backups, I keep separate cloud backups as well, but personally, I think that's an important thing for me, but more importantly, it allows me to play cross-platform, and as someone who used to jump a lot between two PCs on different continents when I was living in uh, Vegas, I thought that was incredibly handy, uh, but also, I sometimes jump onto the Xbox Series X, being able to play Minecraft the same world, the same time, without having to move it between devices, is one of the coolest things about realms, and that is why I use it for my single player world, and that's why I have a two person realm, but I use it individually. It seems silly to have a Minecraft realm for single player, but really I treat it as like a £3.29 a month subscription, uh, that by the way, counts as a business expense because of the Let's Play world being a, uh, a saleable thing that uh, people can buy, uh, but the, uh, the fact that, um, you know, that I, I, I pay for this subscription is a peace of mind thing for me, but also it does allow me a lot of other cool little fun benefits, and I like those a lot, and maybe uh, that's something that you'll consider liking, because if you had a realm, you're going to get some fun compensation, and no one knows what that fun compensation is, but I'm excited to find out, and I'll let you know on this channel, and indeed via my Twitter or whatever that website's called these days, uh, because that is something that I'm very invested in. Speaking of being invested, I've noticed a lot of people immediately when they saw the changes to Big Salmon, 
support of me, and I do have an update regarding why I'm playing Bedrock despite Big Salmon being on Java. Uh, there is a big dark secret about the Java Big Salmon they don't want to tell you about, um, but in the meantime, I'd just like to tell you something fun, uh, because a lot of people hinted that maybe, uh, you know, they'd love to see a new Toy Cat, Toy Cat that's entirely new and not a refresh of, uh, like, the Long Boy like we did uh, last month, and so I would like to use this opportunity to reveal I've actually been working on a Toy Cat, but holding a Big Salmon for a little bit now, and uh, it's fun that I got this comment a couple of weeks ago and I vaguely hinted at it, and someone said I would love that Big Salmon plush. I have some very good news for you, because I have an announcement to make very soon. I can't talk about it right now, but I'm so, so, so hyped. And uh, speaking of being very hyped, I have had a very uh, hyper morning. I spent the entire uh, like morning, I, I woke up at like 5am, went to the hospital for fun reasons, and then after like six hours there, they're like, oh yeah, you today is not the right day for this, you can come back tomorrow. So I've had a very busy day, and it's probably going to be a busy tomorrow, based on what I'm uh, imagining now. Uh, but I'd also, I I'd love to talk about the new 4J texture pack updates, because they have gone through and updated all of them. Uh, myself and Harrison have been trying to get the Super Mario mashup pack to work, and I think at this point we're just going to stop bothering and shop all the rest of them. Uh, but assuming that I have uh, any time at home tomorrow, I'm looking forward to showing you that. For tonight, I'm going to go out to an escape room, actually. It'll be a lot of fun, and I look forward to talking about all of this and more on the next live stream. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope this Rums update was useful. Consider subscribing if it was, and be sure to check out the Big Salmon news when it comes later this week. The Big Salmon conspiracy will be debunked right here on this channel. But for now, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.